Hi, welcome to WPF Binding Tutorials. In this video, I will explain what is binding, what are key components of binding, how to bind an UI element to another UI element, and how to bind a CLR property to an UI element. And coming to binding, this binding establishes a connection between business logic and application UI. Here, business logic may be any public property or any data table or any data set or any XML data provider. So using these binding techniques we can create data driven applications using little code. These binding techniques will enable template binding means suppose we can bind inside the list box we can bind multiple properties by, by creating multiple uh, item templates for list box. And coming to components, binding requires two components means source and target. This source provides the data and target displays the data. When our source changes, then target will also changes. And also if target is changed by user, then source is updated. Here source updation is dependent upon the mode property, which is the one of property of binding element. So binding consists of four parts. That is source, source path, target dependency, and target property. Here in this example, here text block is an UI element which is binded to another UI element called text box one. Here text box one is a source and text box text property is source path and these text is binded to text property of text block. So here target dependency object is text block and target dependency property is text property of text block. And here target can be any accessible element or public property. But here it must be derived from dependency property or dependency object. Means almost all controls in WPF are derived from dependency object. And the source can be any public property or any data set or any XML data provider. Let us see this with an example. So here I have a project called binding in WPF. Let us see how to bind an UI element to another UI element. So here I am dragging a text box control to on my window and text block. Now let us bind text box control text property to text property of text block control. So here within the text property of text block binding first we have to set the element name if it is if source is an, an UA element then we have to set the element name property element name that is text box one and next we have to set the path that is text property now run this Now if you type any single character in text box, it is displayed in the text block. In this way we can bind UA element to another UA element. Next we see how to bind a, a property to an UA element. So let us create a class with uh, two properties. name this class as mobile shop and create two properties called mobile shop owner and mobile shop number so here my string and name it as mobile shop owner now create another and specify the string and name it as mobile shop number ok so add new window
now go to code section here create an instance of class mobile shop here obj equal to new mobile shop and add values to the two properties that is mobile shop owner say dash shaker and obj dot mobile shop number say hn02 here you should know one thing is data context this this is a dependency property which is available for all the elements which are derived from dependency object means the suppose if we bind this object to data context of our window then this object is binded to all the children element of window means this data context holds the data and binds it this to all the children elements or descendant elements so in window 1 let us take two text boxes copy paste so already we set the data context to an object of class mobile shop and the data context is set to window object so here these two text boxes are children of that window so these two text boxes are automatically binded against to the date mobile shop class so now we need to set the path only no need to set the source that is already binded to the top object so for this text box text property binding set the path to mobile shop owner H is and go and for the second text box also set the text property to sorry text binding and set the path to mobile shop number now let us run this set the start url here window 1 run this see that two properties are populated to these two text boxes in this way we can bind CLR properties to UI elements. Here we can also create a local instance of class within XML by creating a local reference to our project. That is by using XMLNS colon create a local reference name here by using local and we have to set the CLR namespace here that is to our project assembly name and let us create an instance of mobile shop class within the data context of window element so we can use local here and <coughs> set the x name to data and set values to properties of mobile class mobile shop owner as say Teja and mobile shop number to HN04 close it see the two properties are automatically binded to these text boxes means we already specified the path here in this way we can bind the properties to XAML elements either using the code behind file or using in XAML also we can also bind the elements in code behind file by using binding class so let us drop all these XAML bindings here and text also here 
now go to code behind file here create instance of binding class be1 equal to here we have to specify the property name to which our control needs to bind so I am giving property name as mobile shop owner next we have to set the source to this binding that is our obj that is an instance of mobile shop class next we have to use the set binding method of our ui element suppose let us bind these binding to text box 1 so for the text box 1 dot set binding we have to specify the dependency property to which we need we are binding that is here we are binding text property of text box 1 so we have to specify the text box dot text property here and we have to specify the binding B in the same way create another binding objects B1 equal to new binding now I am specifying the property name as mobile shop number next specify the source as our object next use the set binding method of text box 2 and specify the dependency property that is text box dot text property and specify the binding object that is be1 now run this see the two properties are binded to two text boxes in this way we can bind properties to UI elements in the next video I will explain the different binding modes in WPF you can also find other WPF binding tutorials in my channel thank you have a nice day